We get a lot of questions on how to install BrainWish Kids Gems. Installation is a part that could be scary for some people, but uh, I want to give you some tips and tricks and uh, reassurance that, that actually installing one of these is not that hard. It will be a little bit of a time consuming, but once you build one of these, you will be very proud. You will enjoy it. Your kids will enjoy it for years and uh, you will see it's not that difficult. So uh, let me start off from the step zero. Before you even buy one of these, these, these are not cheap. They are expensive to manufacture, so they're not cheap for us to make and therefore uh, they're not that cheap for you either. But you're getting high quality gyms and uh, you will spend a little bit of money on it. Before you do that, make sure that your ceiling height is something that fits one of our gyms. We have basement models for, for shorter ceilings, we have standard models for standard ceilings, and we have extension ladders that can help you to reach 10 feet and higher. So on the website, we have descriptions of every height, but to, to bring it uh, all together in one video, for the basement model, you need a minimum of six feet and 10 inches. Basement models, tension, we're talking about tension mounted gyms, basement models can go from six feet and 10 inches all the way to eight feet and five inches. So they're expandable. The top portion of the gym is extension uh, pole. For the standard model, you need minimum of eight feet and seven inches, and it can be extended to nine feet and two inches. And if your ceilings are higher than that, we will, uh, we will ask you to get extension ladders. So you will need one for each of the ladder sides. So for one for model T2, two of those for a spider and three of those sets of extension letters for spider max. And they can extend your gym to reach uh, 10 feet and roughly six inches of height. If you have slanted ceilings uh, or ceilings that are over um, 10, 11 feet and such, we do have wall mounted models. So wall mounted model, the top of it will be roughly at six feet and two inches. So give it six feet and five inches of height. That's what you need. So double check before you even buy. Then let's assume you did all your research, you bought one, you're excited to get it, we shipped it, you receive it. Uh, usually, because they're made out of steel, they come in multiple boxes, they're heavy. So before you even open one, just make sure that you got the right stuff, you will get multiple boxes. So Model T2 will come in two boxes, a spider will come in in three boxes, and so on and so forth. Uh, double check the color. Sometimes it make human errors and sometimes, very rarely, but sometimes it can send you the wrong color. So just double check the sign on the side of the box. So you got all the boxes, you're, you're excited to install and uh, you're overwhelmed. There are so many boxes around and you got some add-ons, you don't know where to start. So step one is to check the videos on our website. We do have assembly videos on our website. It's literally called assembly and watch them step by step. We have one for wall-mounted mon uh, wall mounted models and we have three videos so far on our website uh, that break it down in steps. You can start with Model T2. Our gyms are modular. If you don't know it by now, uh, I'm assuming you did the research so you know that Spider is a combination of a Model T2 and a set of monkey bars. So you will start building the Spider first. You open that box, you begin the installation. And uh, in the video, in the installation video, we do uh, make a note of that, but uh, let me reiterate. You open the box, you take all the metal and all the heavy uh, pieces out of it. Then you use the same box and you put all the nuts and bolts inside of the box. You separate them uh, by each of the nut and bolt and mark them down. Uh, we do have a sheet of paper that has the actual size of every nut and a bolt in the set. Uh, they're super helpful, but just take five minutes of your time, separate it all, and it will make your life a lot easier. So that's step number one, use that box. Uh, you can easily lose nuts and bolts, especially if your kid's running around. And that's reason number one, we get calls saying, hey, we have missing nuts and bolts. So it's uh, reason number one, uh, you uh, lose it around. Take one box at a time, use the box. Now, uh, uh, one um, very important tip, is when you assemble, uh, so usually uh, you will start assembling the ladder and uh, when you watch the video, uh, you assemble this ladder. So this is half a ladder, and that's the second half a ladder. You see this, these connection pieces right here? Don't cover them until the very end. So don't cover them right here, don't cover them on the monkey bars. Leave it at the very, very end. And uh, a second tip uh, when it comes to these particular pieces, do not over tighten them. Leave everything a little bit loose until the very, very end. 
uh, for a couple of reasons. Sometimes you over tighten it, it can twist the pipe, it can do certain things. It's just a good idea, it is a good idea not to overdo uh, any single bolt. And then at the end, you remember that you, you, you still need to retighten it and then you go around and you do all of that stuff. So, uh, do it in, in steps. Now, it has a lot of nuts and bolts. So what I recommend using uh, a power drill with a 13 millimeter socket, right? So, um, so I don't have to do it manually. Uh, the, the set comes with one of these manual keys and you can, you can use actually two of these so you can do it all. Uh, and wrench can do the same job. It's just faster to do it that way, right? So uh, do not over tighten. Stop, uh, start step by step. Model T2 first, set of monkey bars, another set of monkey bars. You can install the ladder Forget about the pull-up bars uh, for, for now because you can do pull-up bars at the very end, install the ladder, put it vertically high. I use one of these bubble levels. Yeah, there's actually a bunch of apps on the phone. If you don't have one of these, you can just literally use an, a, an app or you can go, go around and make sure that it's vertical. So check this one, check that side, check this side, make sure that this uh, matches this side, things of that nature. Don't overthink it. Uh, when you just install on your first ladder. These are pressure fitted uh, uh, systems. So they, uh, you know, just like I showed you in the other video, uh, that, that's what's uh, underneath. It works with a carpet floor, tile floor, doesn't matter, that's a piece of rubber. Um, once you do it, do not over tighten these bolts. Um, just install it first and then you can move it around. Uh, here's a rule of three fingers. So my bolt is almost extended a little bit too much. So if you can put four fingers, that's, that probably means that you could have gone one more hole up. Let me show you at the top. So right here, you see the, the distance between these holes right here is roughly two and a half inches. So if you have more than four fingers, roughly, that means that you could have extended one more hole up. So there's that. And um, uh, all the add-ons can be installed a little bit later. Uh, so you can uh, take it a little bit there. If you are trying to assemble this and hide it for Christmas and do the prep, so you can pre-assemble this, pre-assemble that, or pre-assemble monkey bars. And then when the Christmas time comes and you want to do it uh, the night before Christmas, you can pre-assemble a lot of these things, right? So uh, I, what I forgot to tell you is that pre, uh, pre uh, preparation before you even start the installation process, so if you notice we're using these plywood boards, we recommend using those to spread the load and protect your ceiling from damages such as dents. And um, the ladder is 19 inches wide and those boards are three quarter inch, 24 by 24. They're standard boards. What I did, I went to Home Depot. I got three of those. Well, actually I got four of these, but this is a little bit on the overkill. That, that board for a single pole could have been cut in half, but I got one for each. So I have a total of four. And then while I was at Home Depot, I got this sample paint. Um, brand doesn't matter, but this is just a white paint. Painted those boards, let them dry, and use them on the ceiling. So a couple more uh, last minute tips on uh, uh, to save you time. So if you have your kids around, uh, double your installation time, roughly. We get a lot of these questions. Why does installation take so long and so much time? Uh, if you have kids around, that's reason number one. Uh, reason number two, uh, these pull-up bars, a lot of parents uh, overthink it, and especially if you have little kids, uh, you tend to put it too low. And then when you put the add-ons, then you realize, oh, I could have actually lowered the add-on. I don't have to lower the pull-up bar. And when you, a parent, walking, and then you start hitting the pull-up bars or monkey bars, then you realize how inconvenient it is. Again, we highly recommend using mats, but when it comes to raising or lowering the pull-up bars or the monkey bars, uh, don't do it too low. Uh, again, they're modular, you can always adjust it, uh, but this is where we see that people lose quite a bit of time. So why, why else people lose a bit of time? Uh, trying to do everything by yourself. So you do need a second person to at least hold it while you put in the pressure at the bottom. So get the second person, uh, get them uh, beers or whatnot, right? But uh, get a second person to help you out, make it into a party, you know, bake some cookies, I don't know. Uh, it, it could be a fun installation party, right? Uh, so what else? Plan in your space. This is how much space uh, the Spider Max takes. And if I go this direction, that's roughly the same. Right, so from here, this is two feet. 
so plan your space accordingly, right? We have uh, dimensions on the website. Uh, so each set of monkey bars is roughly four feet. Well, it's actually three feet and eight inches, roughly the distance between your shoulder and the arm. You extend both of your arms. This is the longest side. You turn around, the same thing. So if you have a square for that. Spider, like I said, 19 inches wide. However, you have the pull-up bar. So you can have one pull-up bar facing this way, way the, the other one this way. So each pull-up bar is two feet. And don't forget to reserve some space for, for swinging add-ons. This is pretty much it. These are the most commonly asked questions we get. Uh, if you have any other questions, if you struggle for more than 10, 15 minutes, if some nut and bolt is not functioning the way it's supposed to, just give us a call. This is the fastest way uh, of reaching out to us. Uh, we don't want you to struggle, so thankfully we don't get too many calls. Uh, just call and we will always help you to resolve your particular uh, question as soon as we can. Thank you so much.